morning me again. Wow, since beginning to speak about PDA, I have had a lot of contact from people. Most of it's really positive and some of it's not. <laughs> that's to be expected. And quite honestly, that's something that I've dealt with all of my life, being a PDA and myself. So I think the most important thing to begin with is so many families um, suffer and struggle and internalize shame and guilt and inadequacy, and powerlessness, rejection, self-loathing because of the judgment and the opinions and the lack of support of others, including partners, friends, family, educators, professionals. Now, I think the most important thing for us to know first is that that situation is inevitable. It's a given. Human beings are conditioned by society. So we have a lot of social and cultural and familial conditioning and a lot of belief systems and ideals and understandings about how the world should work deeply ingrained and deeply embedded. And many of the people that like to impart what they believe is their wisdom about how we should raise our children and manage their behavior, a lot of that comes from very well-intentioned people the important thing to know is that we are raising the people who will grow up to be the very people we seek out. The people that show us and our children love, compassion, understanding, patience, kindness, freedom, uh, respect their rights to autonomy and just acceptance, acceptance of their diversity, no matter how that looks. Our children are those people when we parent them the way they need to be parented. Now, that sounds really simple, doesn't it? It's not. It's not simple. Yesterday, when I spoke about natural consequences, I did have some feedback from parents saying, you know, I've tried this and it doesn't work. And what about when our children are teenagers and the teen years can be absolutely brutal. Absolutely. Ask my mother. Ask me. I have an almost 21 year old. Rockiest years of my life. And in hindsight, the most uh, profoundly educational years for me as a parent because I was parenting from my PDA. I was parenting from a place of needing control and authority. And I went to five different professionals in different fields to get help for myself as a parent and for my teenage daughter. And I was consistently told that she wasn't struggling, she was fine. And I was the problem because I was highly anxious. Yes, I was highly anxious. I was highly anxious as a result of worrying myself sick about my child's future. And I know that families out there know exactly what I'm talking about. Our children will often present in a way that has them looking calm, cool and collected. No problem at all because of masking. So being a PDA and myself, being autistic, we wear a mask so that we fit in, so that nobody recognizes our difference, so that we don't face rejection and being misunderstood. But here's something else. I have grown up being accepted by many, but being profoundly misunderstood because of my PDA. 
and being profoundly misunderstood by myself and internalizing self-hatred and self-rejection and turning on myself. Our children live in this vicious cycle of self-loathing because they don't want to be disapproved of. They're hypersensitive to being rejected and being disapproved of and upsetting their parents. You know, my children, my PDA children will study my face and say, I, I don't want you to be angry, mum. They have no control over the behavior that results from the anxiety that underlies PDA. PDA is not a child making choices, being rebellious, being egocentric, or being insubordinate intentionally. It is often a debilitating condition that originates with our wiring. I wanna give you an example. I'm an adult, I'm 40 years old now. I like to consider myself kind, compassionate, understanding, patient. My children have gifted me with those attributes, by the way, my PDA is. I have a situation at the moment where I need to go to the dentist. I don't want to go. I haven't been to the dentist for two years. Two years ago at the dentist, I spent $8,000 having my teeth completely fixed. There wasn't anything so much wrong with them, but I needed a lot of fillings. I had a lot of cavities and I had some other things done. Now, when I had my scale and clean, the woman doing the scale and clean was wonderful. She was a beautiful human being. We got along really well. And then right toward the end of the clean, at the end of all of the work I had done, she said one sentence one sentence that triggered this PDA brain. She said, I will know when you return, whether you have flossed every morning and every night. Now, before she said that sentence, I was an obsessive flosser. I took dental floss everywhere with me that I went. Since she said, I will know whether you have been flossing morning and night when you return, I have rarely flossed my teeth because this innate, oh, this resistance now to floss because it means it feels to me as though I'm being controlled and giving away my autonomy and my freedom and my control. Now, do I appear as though I'm the kind of person who would make a choice to allow my teeth to become unhealthy just because somebody said that? Would I make that choice? Of course I wouldn't. It is absolutely a neurological condition. It is a resistance born from anxiety. And this really needs to be understood. If our family and our partners and our friends cannot get on board with that about our children, then that's just as it is and that's okay. It's not easy, it's hard, but here's the truth. Our children will help us sort the wheat from the chaff. Those who respect and understand and are willing to learn are the healthy people that are great to have in our lives and around our children. Those who aren't will fall away and that may be for the best. I have a lot of people send me messages criticizing me, telling me I'm making this up, that I'm attention seeking, that I don't have anything to do with my time and this is what I do, I waste everybody else's time. And it's interesting because those people that message me and tell me I'm all about control and it's my way or the highway and we're all social beings and I need to fit in. It's interesting that those very people are the people that accuse us of needing control. 
because where's that information that they're giving me coming from? It's coming from a place of them needing to control. So it's not really about PDAs being the only people here that are seeking control. It's about everybody seeking control in different ways. So it's not as simple as everybody else just trying to parent and doing their best. There is a lot of layers underneath this. There are a lot of layers and it begins with following our children's lead. Now this may not work for you. This may not be appropriate for you and you are free to parent however you wish because there will always be natural consequences for us as parents as well. And sometimes pain has to get really bad before we are willing to change. It just does. Sometimes we have to hit rock bottom as parents before we're willing to seek out alternative sources of information in order to parent our children the way they require to be parented. This is not an easy journey. I don't have the answers for everybody. I'm still working through finding answers for myself and my own family because it's an ongoing process and a journey. But I will say this, I feel blessed to be a pda -er because there are many gifts that come along with that. And probably the most important gift of all is having the experience of being misunderstood by family, friends, society, being seen as rebellious and causing a lot of problems. And my life as a, as a young person was very, very hard. It was very, very hard. And this is what I want to avoid for my own children. So I prioritize my connection with my children over anything else. And I demonstrate through my actions and the way that I parent my children to others, this is how you are to connect with my child. And lucky for me, I think most people lack the courage to share their opinion with me about how I should parent my children because I do speak up because I do set boundaries. And the sacrifice that I make is popularity. If I set a boundary with somebody and they don't agree with me and they're not okay, I let it wash over me, that's okay because these are my children. I understand them, I know them, I trust in who they are supposed to be and I parent them in a way that has them feeling safe, happy and protected and I'm ranting, so I'm going to get going. I hope you all have a really wonderful weekend. Thank you so much for your wonderful encouragement, support and feedback, because it's not easy to speak about this. It's really not easy, but I'm willing to talk about this and be criticized for it because I want a better future for my children and our coming generations of PDAs because these are incredible human beings that grow up to be adults that get out into the world and help people. They are born helpers and born leaders and I'm so passionate about them being nurtured. All autistic people. Okay, <laughs> signing off.